guys, I'm Kazzy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So tonight I'm going to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Just so you know, for all of you that are watching this on YouTube, I have polls that go on in my Patreon account and all of my Patreons choose which movies they want to see. So they've chosen Deadpool 2, which I just finished watching, which is over on my Patreon account. And now they've also chosen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which is what I'm going to watch right now. Very, very excited. I know that this movie has Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio in it and Al Pacino and Margot Robbie. I know that it was written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. I also know that this is his ninth film. And I know that he said he's only going to make 10 films in his lifetime. I have watched most, I think I've seen all of Quentin Tarantino's films, actually. <laughs> I love him as a filmmaker. He is so very, very talented. And I'm very excited to watch this film. So I hope that you will join me now in watching Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I've made sure to not read into this movie or do anything else um, as far as research on it, because I just don't want to know. I like to go into these things as blind as possible. Okay, so here we go. Thank you for joining me. Fine. Always loved Quentin Tarantino. Five hundred dollars, and this man's going to collect. He's Jake Cahill. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Whether you're dead or alive, you're just a dollar sign to Jake Cahill on Party Law. <laughs> Only on NBC. <laughs> you're just a dollar sign. Is that uh, how you describe your job, Cliff? What, carrying his load? <laughs> carrying his load. Oh my gosh. A film by Quentin Tarantino. This is Brad Pitt, Aya, and Leonardo DiCaprio in the car together. It's great. Oh wow, look at this airplane. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a lot of cigarette butts. Oh, Emil Hirsch is in this too. Wow. And Timothy Oliphant. Very cool. Dakota Fanning. Wow. A lot of actors in this. Bruce Dern? Luke Perry? No way! Damian Lewis? And Al Pacino. Oh my gosh. I did not- I mean, I knew some of these actors have been in it, but not not all of those. Saturday, February 8th, 1969. No. Al Pacino. Defeat. It's so great. Oh, is that your son? Is that your son? Rick got his driver's license taken away for too many drunk driving tickets. Cliff drives him everywhere now. Oh. What a picture. Good, good picture. Yeah. That'd be so Leonardo DiCaprio's eyebrows look a little, little funny. <laughs> Anybody order fried sauerkraut? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, fried sauerkraut was funny. <laughs> Is that Michael Madsen? I didn't see his name in the credits though. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Oh. Bounty law. <laughs> Bounty law. Behind the green door. You, you always play the bad guy on these shows. Yeah. yeah. You always play the bad guy, huh? It's going to have a psychological effect on how the audience perceives you. Right. Of course. They're always going to think Rick is only good to play the bad guy. Down goes you. Down goes your career as a leading man. Down goes your career as a leading man. Yeah. Do you go to Rome and star in Western and win fucking fights? Oh. It's official, old buddy. It has been. What did that guy tell you? Told me the goddamn truth is what he told me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so what's the problem? I gotta do fucking Italian goddamn movies. That's a fucking problem. Come on. God, these guys are so good. Both Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. Such fan friggin' tastic actors. I swear, Brad Pitt and um, Robert Redford. Brad Pitt and Robert Redford could be related. I've always thought that. Brad Pitt reminds me of young Robert Redford, younger Robert Redford. <clears throat> Where are you from? Emma, California, sir. Here, have a seat. Rick, I'm your driver, man. I'm I'm your gopher. I'm not complaining, man. I like driving you around. I like doing shit I'm around. I'm your driver, I'm your gopher. House sitting in the Hollywood Hills when you're house right. sitting in the Hollywood Hills. Come on now, you you ever seen a, 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 an, an Italian western, huh? 
They're awful. It's, it's a fucking farce. <laughs> yeah. Italian westerns. Together, they'll blow you apart. Duck, you sucker. <laughs> Uh oh, don't run them over. Yeah, I definitely recognize that last girl there. I don't know what her name is, but she looks very familiar. Mrs. Robinson. This is the Hollywood Hills. That was Roman Polanski. Roman Polanski. There for a month now. Was that supposed to be Sharon Tate? <laughs> Holy shit. His wife? Wow. All right, 7.15 a.m. 7.15. Out the door. Out the door. Brad Pitt's a very good friend to Leonardo DiCaprio. Very good friend. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. He's driving like a maniac. Oh, no, that is not. That's a sharp corner right there. Oh, my gosh. Wow, listen to this music. So awesome. Look at how he drives. He's crazy. Panama City? Wow, it's a long way from Hollywood Hills. It's in, somewhere in the valley. I forget exactly where. Oh, he's going to watch a drive-in. Or a movie at the drive-in. Oh, in Van Nuys. I love drive-ins. Wish there were more drive-in theaters. Stranded at the drive-in. Branded a fool. If I had some land, I'd probably buy probably open a drive-in. be fun. Watch movies, you know. Even with COVID, you do your social distancing. <laughs> oh, so this is where Brad Pitt lives. Wow. Quite a bit different than Leonardo DiCaprio. So he wasn't going to watch a drive-in. This is where he lives. Okay. Oh, look at that dog! Aww. So cute. Aww. So cute. Aww. The production design is so great, isn't it? So realistic. And the Oscar goes to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Barbara Lane, Wolf's Tooth Dog Food. <laughs> yeah, they really get the production design great with the era. Oh, baby, the dog. So cute. One. <laughs> Craft dinner, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> we call it craft dinner. Oh my gosh. Oh, good baby. Eating out of his pot. Oh, that's funny. And now we're in Leonardo DiCaprio's house. So we get to see the difference in how these two guys live. To my wife and all my sweethearts. May they never meet. <laughs> the mad comic books wow roman polanski and i'm taking sharon tate i'm guessing that's got to be sharon tate that's roman polanski so she she hasn't died yet that's a very sad story what happened to her my god oh, what a great song hush Na, 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 I know I can't sing, but I love to anyway. Na, 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 na. Hush, hush, hush. Playboy Mansion. Michelle Phillips, J.C. Ring, Steve McQueen. This must have been such a cool era to live in. It just seemed so free. It seemed like nobody cared about anything. <laughs> well, I guess it would depend on who you are. It would be a cool era to live in. Obviously, it wasn't cool for everyone. He doesn't know. He says that the uh, NBA ain't been around in a couple of months. Which maybe it was a scout or something. Sorry. Yeah, sure, a scout. <laughs> you lie! You lie! You lie! Oh, you lie! You'll be I safe! I'm going to be safe! Sharon absolutely has a type. Cute, short, talented guys who look like 12-year-old boys. <laughs> who look like 12-year-old boys. I never stood a chance. Oh, Damien Lewis. I never stood a chance. That's hilarious. Sunday, February 9th, 1969. This is Roman Polanski, I think. 
She's snoring. <laughs> you talk to the stunt gaffer about me today. That way I know if I'm working this week or not. The guy who gaffs this. Best friend of Brandy. The guy from the Green Hornet. So uh, really ain't no point. Oh, so Brad Pitt doesn't doesn't even have a job. Oh. He's coughing a lot. I wonder if he's sick. You want him to look like a hippie? Well, think less hippie, more Hell's Angel. More Hell's Angel? Don't do that. <laughs> I want him to see Caleb. Right. I hired you to be an actor, Rick. Not a TV cowboy. I hired you to be an actor, not a TV cowboy. Uh, this is the girl, I think, on the left that Brad Pitt was staring at the other day when she crossed the road. That's the same girl, yep. Aww. Yeah, I even forget that girl's name. We've seen her in a bunch of things. I just can't remember her name right now. <laughs> he brings a beer up with him. Holy cow! Brad Pitt! Well, he was a stunt double at one point, right? That was his main job. Or he was a stunt performer. Yeah. But now he's not getting any more work as a stunt performer. Ooh-wee, Brad Pitt. You still got it. Yep. This is Sharon Tate again. I'm pretty sure this is the role she's playing. Is that Kurt Russell? Well, I don't think the vibe he brings on a set. What? Dude killed his fucking wife. What? You don't believe that old shit, do you? Yes, Rick, I do. And I work with my wife, and she believes it. You know, this is probably Whoa. The on the shittiest boat with the shittiest person. He's a loser. They all said it. He's a fucking loser, and I didn't believe him. So I guess I'm the fucking idiot. Oh my gosh, she is a nasty person. I feel like fucking fight. Why are you acting like that toward him? Okay, you fucking horse's ass. Let's get you over to wardrobe. Whoa. You know my wife, Janet, don't you? Yeah. Steer clear of her. Steer clear of my wife. Well, if you fought Cassius Clay, who would win? I'd make him a cripple. You'd make him a cripple. That's Bruce Lee. You know, you're kind of pretty for a stuntman. You're kind of pretty for a stuntman. <laughs> so what do you think is so funny? I think you should be embarrassed to suggest you be anything more than a stain on the seat of Cassius Clay's trunks. Wow. Wow. How about a friendly contest? Whoa, if this is Bruce Lee, this is nuts. That's a great idea, Kato. What Brad Pitt is asking him to do. Oh, that was a hair piece. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh. You know Bruce, that guy's kind of famous. It is Bruce Lee. Brad Pitt is going to get his ass beaten. That is Bruce friggin Lee, man. <gasps> <Hey>! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Holy cow! Brad Pitt's got some moves! Oh my gosh, Brad Pitt! Whoa! What the fuck? Wow! Janet, I'm sorry about that. Don't fucking Janet me, you prick! Oh no, is that Janet, hit Kurt Russell's wife? Oh Brandy, no. Your loser asshole, wife killing buddy boy here, was beating the shit out of Bruce. He barely touched me. I think that dent in the car says something different. What the fuck did you do to my car? That's, just, that's Janet's car? I threw this little prick into it, but I did not know it was her car. Cliff is having bad luck. Brad Pitt was such a good fighter, you think they might want to hire him to, uh,. Maybe be an actor in Bruce Lee's films as like an opponent or something? Wow. That's pretty impressive what he just did there against Bruce Lee. <sighs> hmm. I'd like to know what happened with his wife. Okay, is this supposed to be Charles Manson walking up the driveway of Roman Polanski? But that's Emil Hirsch in the kitchen. It's this shaggy asshole. Okay, so, so this. I wonder if that was supposed to be Charles Manson. Okay, Leonardo DiCaprio is definitely sick with something. He's got some... I think he's got some lung issue. Something's going on. Every time he smokes a cigarette, he sounds like he's coughing up a lung. It's 
the actor's job to strive for 100% effectiveness. <laughs> wow. You can call me Marabella. <laughs> Marabella. What, what are you, 12? <laughs> I'm 8. She's 8? She seems a lot older than 8. <laughs> wow. What's the story? He's coming to terms with what it's like to be slightly more... Slightly he's, more useless. He's thinking about himself. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. Sounds Aww. like a really sad book. She's so cute. I'm practically crying and I haven't even read it. About 15 years you'll be living it. Oh no. I love the pumpkin puss. I don't like names like pumpkin puss. But since you're upset, we'll talk about that some other time. <laughs> Cute little girl. <laughs> Sharon Tate, Elky Summer, Dean Martin, Nancy Kwan, The Wrecking Crew, Timothy file. Oliphant. Yeah, I so I cool. Right. Look at how cool this is with the visual effects oh, uh, here. You're in this? Mm hmm. I play Miss Carlson, Clet, but that's yeah. the girl from Valley of the Dolls. That's me. Hey, Ruben, come out here. <laughs> wow, this is so cute. Would you like to come in and see the show? Aww. So she didn't have to pay the 75 cents <laughs> to watch the movie. <laughs> those glasses are so funny. But I guess those are kind of back in style now, aren't they? <laughs> That's far enough, Jughead. That's far enough, Jughead. Don't let me uh -oh. stop you from earning the money. Here comes the bad guy. You find out that Jughead's name. Is that Scoot McNeary? Ha ha ha! This here is Bob Gilbert. Bob Gilbert. The businessman. Are you Scoot McNeary, the actor? Business Bob Gilbert. Looks like you. Who might he be, Caleb? Johnny Madrid. Ready when you are, Gilbert. Oh no. Oh! Holy cow, is he ever fast? So cool seeing Timothy Oliphant in this, because be, I've just watched him in The Mandalorian, and it's like... It's kind of like a western, The Mandalorian as well, you know? Heard stories. I know you're good at killing. <laughs> He's like playing the same role. I love it. To my wife and all my sweethearts, may they never meet. To my wife and all my sweethearts, may they never meet. You care to join me at my table where I entertain my guests? I'd be delighted, Monsieur de Cactu. Monsieur de Cactu. Line, go, go, go fetch her and tell her what. Oh, fat five dollar gold piece. She play her little chili pepper heart out, right? Right. Got it. <laughs> God damn it! I fucked this whole thing. Oh, Sam, going, I didn't I fuck this whole thing. Come on now. <clears throat> Whew. Whew. I got it. I got it. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Jesus Christ! Whoa. 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 Rick, fucking you did line. a good job. That's fucking it. You stop drinking right now. All right? Make a <laughs> wow. He's having a good talk with himself right now. Oh, he's throwing his booze out. Come on, Rick Dalton. Pull it together. Get these lines right. I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out tonight. <laughs> I mean it, motherfucker. No, Rick Dalton. Come on. Let's pull it together. Back with Sharon Tate watching her movie. <laughs> That's cool. Brad Pitt's making his very long drive again. Now there's the girl! Now they're going the right way. He, she's going the right way. Now you can give her a ride. Nice. <laughs> uh oh. There's police there. Fuck you, you fucking pig! <laughs> That's where you're going, Spawn Movie Ranch. Spawn Movie Ranch. Me an actor? No, I'm a stump. Stunt man. That's way better. Actors are phony. Oh. Actors are phony. Want me to stuff your cock while driving? <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> 18. You got some ID. She's 18. Like a driver's license or something? No, she's, I think she's under 18. Obviously. <laughs> I'm not too young to fuck you. <laughs> Look at her armpits. It's funny. What I'm too old to do is go to jail for boomtang. <laughs> the 
looks like he pulled himself together. The horses. Nice. They're all riding into town. They haven't hurt you. Oh my gosh, is that Luke Perry? Oh my gosh, it is. You know, the tragedy of this country is that Cretans like you two end up running it. Oh, Luke. With the British cavalry. What'd they call that outfit? Wow. Murdoch Lancer puts $50,000 in my lap! Oh my gosh. Oh, Luke Perry. And that was fantastic! All right. Okay, moving on. We're in the bordello. Good job, good job. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my whole life. Wow. Wow. Aww. Where's the girl that he was supposed to be driving here? The girl he picked up. Okay, here she comes. Oh, there she is. This is kind of odd. A little spooky here. Kind of creepy. We love pussy. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Everybody left for Santa Barbara. I can't say that, but I was going to say it out loud. Charlie's gone. Everybody left. Charlie's gone? Oh my gosh. Is this Charlie Manson's community? I'm definitely getting the feeling that this is Charles Manson's little community here. He had all these followers. Hey, does George Spawn still own this ranch? Yeah, George still owns it. Well, is there anything wrong with me saying hello to an old friend? You can't see him right now. Why can't I see him right now? Uh-oh. Well, they killed George, or either George died and he's not there, and now they're all just squatting on George's land. Well, I think uh -huh. I'll just go see for myself. Uh, I wouldn't do that, Cliff. I wouldn't do that. These people, they're... If these are Charles Charlie Manson's followers, they are dangerous. They're all part of his cult. Who's the woman up there in the house? Can I help you? I hope so. That's Dakota Fanning. I'm coming in there. With my own two eyes, I'm gonna get a good look at George. Oh, he's gonna get hurt here. Okay. Something bad's gonna happen to him. Look at all of these people, exactly. Something bad is going to happen to you, Cliff. Oh, man. Goodbye, I'm Cliff. Right in it. Oh, God. Maybe the Ew! Ew! Oh, God! I don't like seeing any animals stuck to something that are suffering. I don't care if it's a rat or anything. God, what a horrible way to die. Door at the end of the hallway. You might have to shake him awake. I fucked his brains out this morning. It's gonna be a dead body. God. The tension, you know, right here is very, very, very intense. Is that a bat right there on the wall, right next to the door? George. Ew, it's gonna be a dead body. I can hear flies. I know it's, you know, it's someone who's alive. And George. I'm... What's going on? Bruce Dern. Oh yeah. It's Cliff Booth. John Wilkes? Oh. Cliff Booth. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Shoot Bounty Law here. Who's Cliff Booth? It's Rick Dalton's stunt double. Rick who? Uh, <laughs> I just want to make sure you're okay. She loves me. So suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> so suck on that. Uh-oh. Hopefully he got out of there unscathed. Hopefully. Oh no! Oh no! Flat tire. And that's Dalton's car. <laughs> Whoa! But there are so many other people there though. They could hurt you, Brad Pitt. It's There's a lot of people there. Oh no. Oh, this and is One step I was closer and I will knock his teeth out. This is not gonna... And plus, that guy's got a piece of metal in his hand. I would not let him have that piece of metal. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Los oh, Angeles. thank God he got away in time. <sighs> wow. Timothy Oliphant. It's quite the day, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Margot Robbie. Such a great soundtrack. Bought me an acid dip cigarette today. Oh yeah? An acid dip to cigarette? <laughs> My booze don't need nobody. <laughs> <laughs> My booze don't need nobody. It's cute. Uh oh. Here comes trouble. Boom! Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rick Dalton, Woo! Norman Fell. Norman Fell, wow. The effects in this and just like the whole production design and everything, you really feel like you're here, you know, in this era. Really, really amazing. Friday, August 8th, 1969. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was Cliff! Oh, that was Brad Pitt that did that stunt! Very cool. Very cool. So as Rick returns to Hollywood via Pan Am, he has four new movies under his belt and his brand spanking new Italian wife. <laughs> his brand spanking new Italian wife. <laughs> Way back in coach, working on his bottomless Bloody Mary, Cliff Booth returned to Los Angeles as well. Cliff, flying in coach. <laughs> I can't afford you anymore, Cliff. Oh no. That's sad. Cliff doesn't have a clue what he's gonna do. Of course not. Getting blind drunk together is really the only way to say farewell. Yeah. Aww. There he is with his new wife. Oh my gosh, there's Cliff carrying all their bags. Holy cow. 12.30 p.m. time. Oh, there's Sharon Tate with her very pregnant belly. So this is going to be around the time when she gets murdered by Charles Manson because that's how the story went. I think she was eight months pregnant when Charlie Manson murdered her. <sighs> 5 p.m. I love that dog. Oh, El Coyote. <laughs> 7 p.m. There's Emile Hirsch. What's going on? Well, they're having a premiere. Dirty movies have premieres? Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> Casa Vega. 8.32 p.m. So this must be leading up to... Sharon Tate being killed. Brandy stayed behind at Rick's house, guarding the beautiful Aww. Italian woman asleep in her bed. Brandy. It was after 11.45 by the time the yellow cab dropped Rick and Cliff in front of the house. So Rick and Cliff arrive home at 11.45, and their neighbors Brandy was share. glad to see them return. And the Pulaski's. Oh, Brandy's the dog. <laughs> All right. Aww. <laughs> The acid cigarette. Tonight, tonight. I don't know. No, you Why don't. Why not? Oh no! It could mess you up so badly. Oh my God! Put it out. Don't take any more than that. We we do. Oh no! I can imagine if he keeps smoking that cigarette, that he's whatever it's gonna do to him is gonna get him worse and worse and worse, and he's still smoking it. Oh my gosh! Oh no. He just should have just thrown it away. Oh, and of course, this is gonna be Charles Manson, isn't it? And his followers. Oh my God, if they see Cliff, Brad Pitt, they're gonna kill him. Hey, you! This is a private road, all right? Oh no, don't do it. Now take this mechanical asshole and get it oh. off my fucking street! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey! Oh no. Hey, come around here again, I'm call the fucking cop! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're gonna see Brad Pitt. What did Charlie say? He said, go to Terry's old house and kill everybody in there. This is all Charlie's people in the car. Every show on TV that was an I Love Lucy was about murder. My idea is, we kill the people who taught us to kill. Oh my gosh. Wow. She is nuts. Wow. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I forgot my knife in the car. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, she's taking off. Oh, that fucking bitch! Wow. Alright. Lock the door, Cliff. Oh man. He's dripping. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Have a taste of that dog food, Cliff. <laughs> Go around there. See if there's a back entrance. Isn't that Dalton's house they're at? Yeah, well, Polanski's house has a gate. There are people coming. The door is unlocked. <gasps> you are real, right? He's high, so he can't tell he's real. <laughs> and he can't fight back either because he's so high right now. <laughs> oh, 
What the fuck's that? I wish you weren't high right now. Oh, I know you. Uh oh. All three of you. Uh oh. Yeah, spawn rat. Uh oh. Now they're really gonna kill you, Cliff. I mean, they're probably already gonna kill you, but now for sure, because you, now you recognize them. Uh, you are from Spawn Ranch. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thank God! Yes! 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 yes. Oh yes! 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 No! Don't hurt the dog! Don't hurt the dog! Yes! You go, Brandy! You get him! You get him, Brandy! Oh, you better get rid of this girl! She's got a knife! He's got a knife! Be careful, Cliff! Be careful! <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> nice job! Good! Good! Francesca, good job! Oh no! She got the knife! Oh no, no, no! Get the girl with the knife! 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 Oh my gosh! Get the girl with the knife! Oh my god, the girl's got a knife! Oh no! Oh no, she stabbed you in the leg! Oh no! Cliff, don't let her- Cliff, you gotta get her! Cliff, you gotta get her! You gotta get her! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Holy cow! Oh my gosh, Cliff! Okay, I think you got her! I think you got her. Oh no, the god! No, 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 no! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! What is happening? Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Okay, Brandy, are you okay? You're okay? No, someone's gotta help Brad Pitt! Someone's gotta help Cliff! You gotta help Cliff! You gotta help Cliff! You gotta go- <laughs> No, Dalton, you gotta go help Cliff! Dalton, you gotta help Cliff, please! Oh my gosh, he's got the flamethrower! <laughs> oh my gosh, I know that's horrible that I'm laughing! It's just like- Oh my gosh! <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a that 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 knife went in so deep. <sighs> wow. You're a good friend, Cliff. I tried. You are a very good friend, Cliff. Wow. You definitely are. Wow. So I wonder if I wonder if Sharon Tate and her friends got killed during this. Well no, because they were all those people texting those other those women that were going into Sharon Tate's house. Wait, were they? I, I thought that was their plan. But they went to Dalton's house instead. Hello? I'm Jay Sebring. I'm a friend of the Polanskis. Oh, yeah. Rick Dalton, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Emil, Emil Hirsch, Jay Sebring. I tease Sharon that she lives next door to Jake Cahill. What the fuck happened? They tried to kill my wife and my buddy. Hey, is everybody okay? Well, the fucking hippies aren't. That, that's for goddamn sure. <laughs> Once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh, it's nice. He became friends. They became friends. The neighbors. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Um. That was wow. What a great movie. You know, interesting. Interestingly, uh, a lot less violent, um, a lot less violent, a lot less you know graphically violent than most of Quentin Tarantino's work, at least from the ones that I can recall really well right now. Stop! Oh, what the fuck? Um, obviously, that that last that last murder scene, that last well defense scene, killing each other's killing people scene. Um, <clears throat> that was quite violent and graphic, obviously. Uh, but the majority of the movie wasn't, I mean, the rest of the movie wasn't like that. So, yeah, it was, uh, 
was um a, a, was a uh, sort of less intense than some of Quentin Tarantino's work in the past, I'd say. <laughs> But wow, what a, what a, like, good movie. <laughs> what a great movie. Holy cow. The writing, um, the directing, the acting, the production design. I mean, everything about it <clears throat> was so cool. It was like a, kind of like a, to me, it looks like a little bit like a, a little bit like a soap opera, you know? Like at the end there, like once upon a time in Hollywood. Um, and everybody, all the actors that were in this are so great. <clears throat> I forget the guy's name. Uh, he was in a scene with Timothy. No, he was he was riding on the horse right next to Luke Perry in that one scene, and he was sitting on his horse. And I forget his name, uh, but he's in a show called Westworld, which I've watched, which I think is so good. And he's a really really good actor. I can't remember his name right now. Um, but I want. It also it was so great to see Luke Perry. Oh God, it's so sad what happened to him. He died. You know way too young and so so suddenly and nobody was expecting that to happen to him obviously um yeah i it was just really great to see him in this movie i didn't even know he was in this movie so it was really nice to see him and i'm i guess this is probably the last movie he did before he died i'm not sure when this movie came out but i think it probably was this is probably his last film that he did um i love this film so much and emile hirsch was in this emile hirsch was in a movie that i watched uh called into the wild which was so good my gosh one of my favorite songs of all time by Pearl Jam um, was in that movie. And it was the uh, the theme song for that film. And it was such a great film. Very sad movie because it was based on a true story of what happened to that guy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just everybody in this movie was, I mean, obviously the cast is so great, right? I mean, it's just like, I loved, I, Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt are both such great actors. And they were both, their characters were so different in this movie. So just seeing sort of like their dynamic together worked really, really well. And they worked so well together. And both those characters, I love both the characters. Um, I was just about, just about to say that I loved, you know, Brad Pitt's character and who he was and things like that. But even while I was just about to say it, and I remember that Leonardo DiCaprio was also just so good in his character. And his character was also just such an interesting character too. At first, I didn't really like his character. Dalt, um... Uh, Rick Dalton because I just thought he was just this you know egomaniac and you know just really kind of just self-centered and treated his you know best friend essentially like a kind of like a piece of crap but Rick wasn't Rick was was a good guy I mean I think you could I could tell that you know he he really appreciated Cliff Cliff Booth and his life and um and I just loved the way that they, the, the chemistry that they had on, on screen was, was really cool. I also loved how Quentin Tarantino brought in, you know, the true life story of Sharon Tate and her friends and Roman Polanski. So it made the movie feel like you were actually back in that era experiencing what had actually gone on, you know, in her life and in Roman Polanski's life. And in that era, like what was happening at that time and in this time. And, uh, you know, it was... I was totally expecting that the the Manson followers were going to go to Roman Polanski's house, Sharon Tate's house, but they didn't. They ended up going to Dalton's house instead. And so just kind of like a, just a really fun, kind of cool, interesting, like, take right there and uh, an interesting um, sort of switch because it wasn't what I was expecting. So it was, and you know, at the end of the movie, you see Sharon Tate's still alive. So it's just uh, an interesting thing to sort of tie in the 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 real events that actually happened uh, at this time in Hollywood, and then you know tying in with um with the things that you know didn't go on. I don't think I don't think Dalton's a real person, as far as I know. I've never read about him. Um, I mean, maybe he is, maybe I just don't know. But I do know about the Sharon Tate Roman, Roman Polanski story. I do know about that. So anyways, this was a great movie. Thank you guys for voting for this on my Patreon. I, I'm really I was so happy to watch this. I hadn't seen it, and it, I know it's, it won multiple awards. I don't know which awards, but I know it has won multiple awards. I think I think Brad Pitt won an Academy Award for this. I know he was nominated. I'm not sure if he won. I have to go and look that up. But uh, yeah, it was just was an excellent movie. So I guess we can expect one more movie from Quentin Tarantino. One, just one more. We'll be 10 altogether. Yeah, it was really good. Really, really enjoyable. I mean, I, I don't 
there's not I, I haven't I haven't disliked any of Quentin Tarantino's films. He's always so creative. Um and uh he's just a very unique director. I love everything that he does and his writing as well. It's just amazing. So thank you guys. Thank you for coming here to watch my reaction to this. If you liked my reaction to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, please if you would give me a uh a thumbs up, give me a like button, hit the like button right below here. There's a thumb there, you just hit the like button. And if you like what I'm doing with my reviews, or sorry, not, not my reviews, but my, <laughs> this is not rehearsed. So um, if you like what I'm doing with uh, my reactions, please subscribe to my channel and uh, you, can, you can watch me here and do my other reactions. And yeah, just really nice to have you guys here. If you want to come over and join me on Patreon, uh, you can come there and watch my, my reactions without any editing at all. Just my, whatever I do in there with no editing, just my ridiculousness, like I always say. <laughs> Uh, I'm also on Instagram and Twitter if you want to join me there. If you come over there, just please leave me a comment on my Instagram or Twitter uh, under any of my posts and let me know that you're subscribed to me on YouTube and I will definitely follow you back on those social media sites. Thank you again for being here. I really appreciate you. I appreciate all of your positive feedback. And if you ever hear my stomach growling during any of my reactions, It's because I'm hungry and I, I need to go eat right now. So I'm going to go get going to have some dinner now. Just going downstairs to my kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me. It's so great. I love all of you. I'm just really grateful that you keep giving me inspiration to want to keep doing this. And you keep giving me great movie suggestions. And thank you for voting on my polls on my Patreon and also here on YouTube on my community page. You guys are amazing. Have a great night or great day wherever you are. And I look forward to watching more movies and great TV shows with you soon. Take care. Yeah, we never let go. The ones that keep us grounded. So we got in a little bit of trouble. We broke the law.